Alright, this is mostly going to be just a running video of the um, L939 by WL Toys. Um, took it down to like a little dance studio, a slick floor area, and was trying to test it out. And man, it really behaved more like a drift car. And so we were filming with the Eakin 4K in 4K mode, um, but it only records 25 frames per second in 4K. And the 4K is somewhat grainy, so I'm probably going to test out 2.7K and maybe like higher frame rates at 1080p and things like that so you can just compare. Um, and yeah, the 4K files were just huge. It was like five sections and they all were 2.4 um, GB or gigabytes or something like that. So ridiculously big files and I'm not sure if I love the footage in 4K. Even though theoretically you should be able to punch in and still have a 1080p quality even when you zoom in. Um, so yeah, testing out a bunch of stuff, but mainly the car is just going to be a driving video and the rear wheel drive and on that slick surface, maybe I'll try mopping down there getting the dust off the floor, but man, it was just like a drift car. And when the drift car is up and running, I think this will be faster than this car on that surface. I mean, it's kind of not fair because this has more than just willpower. We have thrust power. That's what we do here at Jet Noise Huge Motors. We add thrust. So when the tires are slipping, you still just get pushed forward in the direction the car is facing. So a little bit of a dis disadvantage, but I mean, that's shocking. At least in that scenario, these cars would be a lot more comparable than I thought. Now, on carpet or a grippy surface, this car would smash that car. It just would, at least right now. And everything that I know about these cars as of now, this car would win on carpet for sure. But on a slick surface, it's like, wow, they're, they're pretty close to like being the same speed. And I think the drift car would actually win, oddly enough. Um, so yeah, let's get to the running and all that stuff in the video. Um, hope you like it. Peace.
yeah so as you can see the car was really hard to um, control you can see it different parts in the video I'm upping the speed and changing the speed I started off maybe around four and was testing out maybe one up to five is absolutely ridiculous on even three and in fact even on two I have to roll the throttle slowly up and maybe for a split second at the end of some of the straightaways I could max the throttle for a half of a second a fraction of a second and then try to get off and smoothly corner and then another thing is when you touch the brakes it locks up the rear wheels a little bit or not locks them up but slows them that slows them down to the point of the car wants to spin out um, so I had to learn to ease onto the brake when I use the brake and ease onto the throttle even at level 2 setting so that's crazy to me um, and in the higher modes um, you also could spin the car out just super easy by getting on the throttle too much if you're coming into a turn and you want to tighten up the turn and kick out the back a little bit just you know, a little bit more throttle would kick out your rear too so I imagine if you got really good on the faster settings you might be better but honestly I think two on that slippery surface is probably the fastest most people would be one was a little slow and you still could spin out on one but uh, some of the straightaways you could get to full throttle and you would still be going kind of slow like halfway down you know three quarters away down the straightaway so two is definitely where it was at for my little test track but yeah a lot of prep to be done and possibly we are gonna really think about adding thrust to this car even though it's tiny like I said in the, in the previous video it's gonna be a lot of work and tedious to work on something so small and get it to have thrust power but I'm really looking into it now that I see how squirrely it is and how much power it has and considering it's only a two-wheel drive car so it really needs that extra push to get going somewhere and stop spinning out so yeah hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video um, yeah, stay tuned for more stuff coming up soon. Peace.